Hey, David here with Spectora. We're gonna go through your availability settings in this video. This is how you can set up your available times for your online scheduler, as well as your internal scheduler uh, for when you're uh, available to do an inspection. So to start, let's jump into your settings page. Once this loads, we will find availability here towards the top. There are two options we're gonna go through. Um, these are company-wide. So if you have multiple inspectors, all of your inspectors will have the same option, whether it's open schedule we see on the top right, or whether you toggle it to time slots. But let's look through each one of these one by one. Open scheduler, that will allow you to pick a start time of your day and an end time of your day. So anything in the middle is basically fair game. If you do not already have uh, an inspection booked, then your online scheduler will show a client every half hour increment between nine and five. So they can pick any time on the half hour marks between nine o'clock and five o'clock. Now, of course, if you have an inspection, it will skip over those times so you won't get double booked. Another good thing to know with the open scheduler is that the five o'clock end of my day I have here, that will line up with the end of my last inspection of the day or my last possible inspection of the day. Meaning if someone wants to book me for a three hour home inspection, the latest it will give them as an option will be two o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't go past my five o'clock time. Um, that's the way that the open schedule will work. You can pick for any day of the week. And then of course, if you have multiple inspectors, they will have the same setup, but you can adjust different times, different days of the week and so forth. Let's look at time slots. I can toggle this over. Now this will allow me to pick my own start times that I want. For example, nine o'clock and one o'clock, fairly common. So I know that a client or an agent on my online scheduler will not book me for 10.30 or 11.30 or three in the afternoon. They are only gonna pick nine and one if I have those available. And same with uh, my second inspector, I can give him different time slots um, throughout the day and different days of the week as well. Uh, let's take a look at what this will look like on the dashboard. We're also going to see a little bit of how it looks on the internal scheduling page as well. So let's jump back to our dashboard. Now with time slots on your dashboard calendar, if you look at a week view, for example, you will see white boxes indicating start times that are available. I can see my nine and one and my inspector John, I can see his just nine o'clock in the afternoon and I can look through my whole week. I can also do the day view, same concept just of the specific day. And I can also click this arrow and just pop through every day of the week if I wanted to. Um, that will show you what is available at a pretty quick glance. And again, if you have multiple inspectors, this list will, will continue to grow. Looking at the internal scheduler, something I wanna point out is that you can break your own rules, but it'll give you a warning. So if I want to schedule an inspection for myself at 10 o'clock in the morning, I can do that, but it'll give me a pop-up saying, it's not my regular time slot, just to give me a heads up, I can continue with this process if I still want to schedule my own at 10 in the morning as I am an admin on my account. Same with days of the week. If I go to schedule on a Saturday, it'll give me a pop-up telling me that's not my normal day, but I can continue with my scheduling if I need to. All right, uh, another thing I wanna quickly show you just in regards to scheduling is taking time off. How do you block off your calendar if you need to? And that'll just be from the dashboard calendar itself. So getting back here, I can click, let's look at the month view. I can click on a day and now I can actually click event. This will block off my calendar. Let's say I want to take the whole day off. Um, I can give it a name. This is internal only. So just for you or your office. So they know what you're actually out of the office for. And I can assign it to an inspector, of course, myself, or if I'm calling time off for my other inspector. By default, it'll be the whole day. So I can just click schedule event. If I want to take the entire day of the 11th off, it'll block all 24 hours. Of course, you can do partial days and adjust the hours if you need to, to take off maybe just an afternoon, but keep your mornings available. Uh, so that'll be how you can call off some time if you need to. Of course, you can call off multiple days in a row 
by uh, adjusting the date and the time here, say if you're going on vacation for a week. So very easy to adjust that so no one books you when you are not available. Um, hopefully that helps. If there are any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us on the chat bubble and we are here to help.